Another great day here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. It's Bill and Rosalie Furler. Welcome to Church on the Beach. And we want to declare God's glory to the nations. And even though we're living in troubled times, God is our refuge and our strength. Always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. So let the oceans roar and foam, and let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. And God says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be honoured by every nation. I will be honoured throughout the world. And the glory of the Lord shall be seen like the waters cover the ocean. Jesus said in John chapter 16 and verse 33, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you shall have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, or let your heart take courage. Jesus said, I have overcome the world. And let me say that in him, abiding in him, we are more than a conqueror. And if we believe in him, then we have been quickened by him and raised up together with him and made to sit with him in the heavenly realms. Thank God, praise God, Jesus is Lord. And he is supreme over all of creation. In the book of Colossians chapter 1 and from verse 15. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. For through him God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, authorities in the unseen world. Yes, everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else and holds all creation together. Oh, let's praise God and thank God that He is still on the throne. Even though your world might be falling apart, Jesus is ruling the universe. And He's also the head of the church, which is His body. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead. So that in everything, he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, that is Christ the Messiah, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether they be things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through the blood That is the blood of the cross. This is the good news, the good news of the gospel. It includes you, it includes me. Because once we were so far away from God and even enemies of God, separated from Him by our evil thoughts and actions. Yet now, right now, if we believe, then He has reconciled us to Himself. Through faith in the Holy Blood of Jesus, we are brought right into the very presence of God. And we can now stand before Him without fault, without blame, worthy of God. Be encouraged. You must continue to believe this truth and stand firmly in it. And remember that God really loves you. He is with you. He is for you. And let's declare His glory among the nations. 
Have a great week and God really bless you.